Hello, housemates, and welcome to Skyrim. This is not Fwop, this is Lethe. We are both playing Skyrim, both with all the same set of mods and whatnot. Um, so, I have, I'm an orc. Let's, let's show you. Yep, this is me. I got a dumb hat. Uh, I'm a bandit. I started off in um, the Lost Knife hideout, so I'm in the middle of nowhere. And so I got pretty lucky. The bandit start uh, starts you off with some band of uh, ruffians, a random one, as far as I understand. I got a good one. The Lost Knife hideout had lots of stuff in it. And when you start with them, they are friendly to you, and you can take all the stuff that's in the cave. Um, so we'll show you that cave later. This is actually an abandoned prison that I found across the river from there. I've done a little bit of uh, play with this character just to get used to the mods and whatnot. Uh, so the downside to starting as an outlaw in the Live Another Life mod is that you have a bounty on your head, a 1500 gold bounty, I'm led to believe. So uh, it's hard to pay off and as soon as I walked outside I was accosted by a bounty hunter uh, and had not, I mean, a little bit of a difficult time fighting her off, but I eventually killed her. Uh, so I imagine that's gonna happen often. So we're gonna try and get away from East Hold, I believe, uh, where the bounty is on me. But first, we're going to explore a little bit, try and build up some good equipment, learn some things about the mod. So I don't know if there's anything here in terms of enemies, but let's see what we can do. All right. Gold, take it. So um, I didn't start off with great equipment, but I found a whole bunch of money and food and that kind of thing. So I'm well rested, I had a place to sleep with my bandit comrades, everything's A-OK. -okay. So we're just going to take a lot of food so we can eat it. Built myself a nice torch. Got this fresh dungeon water I can drink. Mm. Now, ultimately, Flop and I want to somehow interweave the stories for these characters. Uh, for his character, Margaret, and for mine, Garthak. How exactly we will do that, I'm not quite sure yet, but we will get to it. So, we want them to be inhabiting the same world, uh, rather than two instances, two distinct possible worlds which have no contact with each other. That's not what we want. That would be boring. Alright, so... Well, there's a torch lit here. How abandoned is this place? Hello? That wasn't really an orcish voice. Hello? Imperial shield. I'll take it. Guards orders. We can't let the prisoners out, so either kill them or let them drown. Either way, all guards must evacuate as soon as possible. The storm is about to wash this whole fort into the river, and I'll be damned if I have to report one legion death under my watch. You have your orders. Alright. This place was obviously not washed away. They even left their gold here. Idiots. Nordic goblet. I don't care about that. Nice. Imperial shortbow. I've just found all kinds of weapons. So... Now, note that I was pretty lucky. Um, Flop was telling me that he tried out starting as a bandit uh, once, and he was not in such a uh, lucrative band. Um, and you still have, no matter where you start, even if you start with some shitty, broke-ass bandits, uh, you're still going to have a bounty on you. So, uh, I got lucky, and it weighed out um, in my favor, probably, overall. So, I'm going to do some exploring here. Wonder if there's some undead prisoners coming up from their waterlogged graves to get revenge. It wasn't me. Didn't do it. It was the one armed Imperial. Oh, that's a fucking ghost. I was right. Shit. But there's a lot of stuff here, so even if I can't combat them, I can weigh myself down with goodies. Nordic boots. Hey, give me your, 
Give me your iron boots. I'm carrying too much, so I'm gonna have to divest myself of some of this. Do I already have iron boots? All right. I have so much shit. Okay, is this better than the shield I have? I'm not even, oh no, uh, 100, yes. So, I need to drop some shit. This is better than the armor I have. 76 versus, no it's not. So, uh, I'm not worried about having lots of gold, so we're gonna have to drop some of this shit. This is better than the helmet I have. But I don't really want to deal with that. Uh huh. I carry weight, so I'm back down under for the time being. Man, they left a lot of stuff here. So, <clears throat> note that. Getting stuff like common tunics helps you, you can tear it apart to get cloth, which helps you make torches. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff like that to keep in mind. So the name of this intrepid orc is Garthak. He turned to a life of crime because he was an outcast. He didn't want to live the life of being beta male or however it works with orcs. He wanted to be able to take a wife if he damn well felt like it. Fuck, shit. Um, we'll have to get back to Garthak's life story later. Oh, you're fucked, ghost. Hey, come back here. Pansy-ass ghost. Fight me like a former man. Yeah, eat it. Ectoplasm. How does a ghost wear fucking fur? Whatever, dude. I'm taking your ectoplasm. I don't want the rest of your shit, though. Wait, more ghosts. Ah, stop pressing the wrong buttons. It's gonna, I'm gonna do that a lot. I have to get used to this. You can never truly stop me. Can't I? Ow. Ass hat. All right, so he had two weapons on him. They're still not better than what I had. And they're still wearing fur, which is weird. Furry ghosts. So this is a good way to get some combat practice, seems like. These guys are pretty easy. Maybe there's going to be like a deadly dangerous ghost in here somewhere. Hey, skeleton, what do you have? Yes, I will take it. Like I said, life of crime because he didn't want to live as second fiddle in some orc stronghold, having to watch one orc get all the women while I languish doing jack shit. No. Garthak wants himself a wife. Oh, okay. Hey, I have not picked a lock yet in this game. Uh, no, that didn't work. All right, this is, this is much more difficult. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with this right now. Uh, I've only played this on a console before and I had the sort of haptic feedback from the rumble pack in the controller, which made it a bit easier. Okay, I can use the mouse to rotate like that. Um, yeah, this is not gonna work. All right, I'm terrible at this right now. That doesn't work. All right. What the fuck does that go? Can I? Could I go down there? Would I just be stuck forever? That would be terrible. No, no. It looks like it goes somewhere, but I'm not going down there. That'd be dumb. I can sleep here. That seems like a terrible idea. Ghosts come and do nasty things to me while I'm asleep. Garthak is not that desperate for a wife. All right, let's see if there are any other ghosts we can mess up. Woodcutter's coin purse, yeah. 
ghosts don't have any need for money or keys. Oh, I wonder if that can open this shit. Hello? Yeah! I don't know why my dexterity increased. I went up a level! Um, so, I'm probably not going to spend this right now because I need to think about this, but um, I will increase my stamina. I'll go back and forth between stamina and health. Um, so, this is going to be a fighter character. I'm going to do like straight up fighting for the most part and smithing. Um, I don't know... I'll obviously do some magic, just because you basically have to. Um, I'm not sure what school of magic I'll go with. Um, so, just to let you know, in we have the Imperious Races of Skyrim installed, and that uh, gives each race uh, interesting passive and active abilities, and also a racial quest. And my racial quest uh, links in with my active ability, which is in combat I can jump and like do a shockwave type thing. And um, oh yeah, cheap dexterity increases just for using a key. Um, and so I can jump and stun people, and once I've done that to 150 combatants, I will unlock a sort of berserk ability, which can happen randomly in combat and just makes me much nastier. So I just gotta jump up in the air and and knock people over. That's my racial quest. It's really easy to be an orc. Life is fulfilling when you knock people down. Alright, let's go back here. Yo, dude, I heard you like prisons. So I put some cells in your cells so you can languish while you languish. Man, look at my dexterity. This is ridiculous. Why is this happening? And I went up the level? This seems like a bug. This is way too easy. Mortal fool. What's up, dude? No one hides from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, ghost. I'm not trying to hide from you. I'm definitely gonna take your ectoplasm. Yeah. All right. Uh, health. Still not doing with the perks yet. I'm gonna have a lot of them saved up, it looks like. Even if that's uh even if that's a bug that I'm getting like retarded XP from just opening doors, uh I'm sticking with it. Because, you know, sometimes you get lucky, and this is a lucky orc. Garthak started got with the right uh band of thieves, paid off for him. And um I'll take these so I can tear up. And, uh, sometimes you're dealt a good hand. Sometimes you're an idiot ghost that dies. You died twice, morons. Alright. This may be a little bit dark, but since they're a wandering ghost, you know, actually, I'll just keep the torch because these, these dudes, I don't even need a shield. Maybe I can burn a ghost to death. That would be fun. All right, so let's put on the torch so that you guys can see a bit better. Nice. Oh, I'm just, look at all this stuff. Yeah, Garthak's not gonna tell uh, his friends about this. Garthak talks about himself in the third person. Um, you know, he's lucky, but he's, uh, he's weird. Common headscarf. Oh, got a bandana. Nice. I'm taking that. Uh, yeah, that's right. No, put your weapons away. That looks a bit better than the fur helm. I mean, it still looks kind of dumb, but it looks better. All right, let's continue looting. Leather helmet, don't care. <clears throat> yes! Stuff everywhere! Zoom in. Come on, ghosts. Somehow I have blood on my sword. I guess it's from you. Oh man, look at all this iron. We're gonna be so overburdened. But this is free crafting materials, and I'm gonna craft the shit out of some things. This starts a quest, I think, this book. 
at least it used to. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I'm not going to take this book. That's just dead weight. Although, you can tear up books for Kindle. Ah, it does start a quest. That's right. You can tear up books and burn them. You know, sounds terrible, but I'm a bandit. I mean, I guess I can read. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm not going to read these history books. That sounds boring. Song of Hromir. Yes! This is the best alternate life ever. And just think, I could have been a stupid prisoner who got caught walking across the border like an idiot. Petty Soul Gem. Petty Soul Gem is petty. That's what it tells me. I went up another, another level just for walking around. I don't know why all those other orc dudes were talking about how hard it is to adventure. This shit is easy. Okay, back to stamina. And we're still not going to worry about this. Imperial sword. Fuck that Imperial sword. I kick it. Don't kick swords, that's stupid. Okay, a lantern. That's an interesting looking book. Let's, um... There are wearable lanterns in this game so that I could have my both my weapons out and also, um, do that, uh, lantern. No, that is not a wearable lantern, I don't think. Uh, there's a book, Thief of Virtue. Let me read this book. Uh, okay. I'm still not going to sleep here. go back through this hole in the wall. Did I do this chest? I did not. Whoa. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we gotta drop some more garbage. Let's see. Alright, we'll drop that. Um, got lots of food. I need to check and see if we are hungry. So here's fist weapons. It, they look sort of goofy, uh, but that's pretty. That's worth a lot for two weight. So I'm gonna keep that around. Mm, I have so much garlic. Okay, we are good again for the time being. We will have to drop some more shit later. Barrel. So, uh, salt is good. Uh, I'm not hungry or thirsty or tired, so we can just keep going here. Hello, skeleton. You are not a rich skeleton. Deeper into this sad prison we go. More dexterity! This is ridiculous. Lockpick? Yes. 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 That replaces the lockpicks I stupidly broke, being an idiot. Is this an air vent? Weird. Central air. Skyrim style. I mean, I bet it... I bet it's a fireplace. Now that I think about it. Alright. I am still not sleeping here, no matter how many times you offer me a bed, ghost. No means no. I already have a hatchet. Oh, there's a... This is dangerous. Who leaves a torch sitting around like that on a wooden table? God. No wonder you're all dead. Alright, it looks like I have gotten most of what I can out of this place. So, uh, let's take you back to my home, 
show you my bandit friends, introduce you. Yeah, I've done all this. So this was pretty nifty. Got some inexplicable XP. Now, watch, I'm gonna get like totally jacked up by a bounty hunter as soon as I walk up walk outside. It's gonna be sad. So we're gonna go outside, I'm gonna switch to my shield. Just in case. I'm gonna switch to a shield. Uh, banded iron, 77, 100, yes, this one. So now it's dark for a minute. Excuse me while I go outside. Now it's really dark. That's a sick looking bow. All right, it is fucking raining. Man. Uh, luckily it's not far to my home. I'm gonna avoid jumping into the raging rapids. So as you can see, uh, we've started off, like I said, in the middle of nowhere. There's Windhelm up there, Whiterun there, Rifton is down here. So I think we're going to head this way, south and east towards Rifton. Uh, because this less snowy and mountainous terrain looks like it'll be more friendly uh, to someone who's just getting used to the adventuring life, who's just getting used to the dangers of exposure and starvation. My bandit friends helped me out for a while, but uh, so... One thing that you missed, in the beginning I was walking through the bandit cave and they just fucking straight up murdered another bandit. Uh, I don't like the way the dynamic is going in this group, so I'm going to get out while I can before I am the, the guy who's getting stabbed in the back. So that means I have to strike out on my own, which is dangerous, but it's better than the alternative. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Let's go this way. Lots of water around here, which is good. Alright, let's see. On the road. It's very difficult to keep your bearings, or at least I find it's very difficult to keep your bearings in this game. So, am I even going the right way? No. Yes, I am. I bet there is not a road sign for the Lost Knife hideout. It's actually pretty dumb to put your hideout so close to the road, if you're bandits. I mean, I know you want to get on the road to to uh, attack some caravans and all that. We're also next to this fort. There's this crazy alchemist dude in there. He, uh, he didn't like it when I came inside. I am backed off. I don't want any of your nonsense, lady. I might, I would do some hunting, but it's raining outside a lot. I know, okay, this is the lake outside of the Lost Knight hideout. Uh, let's make sure our water skin is all filled up. Yep. There's some slaughterfish eggs. Home sweet home, marked by these impaled, gross corpses. So this is, this is my house. These are my, well, they're friends for the time being. But I'm leaving them. Shh, don't tell. They don't like it when you, uh, when you try and leave. Because then they're like, oh, you're going to go to a rival bandit group and tell them where our cave is and tell them how to, like, kill us all. Oh. You're gonna, you know, take all of our stuff. I mean, the second one is true. So you can see, when you start off as a bandit, they're friendly. They don't have much to say, but that's fine. This is my bedroll. So I'm gonna dry out and, hey, dry out, do it. 
I'm feeling well hydrated. I am slowly drying off. I was pretty drenched. It was raining pretty hard out there. So like I said, <clears throat> you do not necessarily start off in this bandit cave. This place is huge. There are, it's actually two zones. As you can see, we have no shortage of water. I haven't even like done any exploring down in the water. That looks like it might be a cave that goes somewhere. I should probably do that. Um, I can show you the dude that they totally jacked up. That thumping noise is a heavily armed, uh, armored, and armed bandit. Is this corpse still around here? Maybe not. Oh yeah, he passed this tripwire. Yeah, so this dude, bandit warrior traitor, I guess they killed him because, well, at least they thought he was a traitor. I don't know what he actually did, but you know, like I said, this is what makes me want to get out of this, this particular band, maybe get out of this business in general. Bandits don't have particularly long life expectancy, I don't think. So like I said, there's a lot of area in here. I've already done most of the exploring in this area uh, to get some equipment. Uh, to tide me over on my journey. Uh, there are some camping supplies that I don't have yet. I haven't done any foraging. I don't have a hunting knife. So when it comes to actually hunting, I will have some work to do. But what we're going to do is we may cut off this episode pretty soon. I don't really need to rest or anything. And what I need to do is sit down and think about off-camera how I want to apportion, allocate those skills that I just got, because uh, they're, they're already piling up. So I will leave you all here for the time being. This, no, stand in the light. This is Garthak. Uh, he's going to be with you for some time. And I don't really have a particular plan other than to go around, fight, win glory, as is befitting an orc. And, you know, like I said, find a wife and just rub it in the face of those orc chiefs. Be like, look, I don't need your wives. I can get my own, and they're better than yours. Loser. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, please hit a thumbs up, and make sure to watch the series uh, both on my channel and on Flop's channel. Like I said, we will be interweaving the story at some point, somehow, uh, with details yet to be determined. So. Like both of our Skyrim videos, hit thumbs up on them, and subscribe to both our channels so that you can be notified when the new episodes come out. If you're not going to do any of those things, then Garthak does not care what you do.